Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's version of LinkedIn Lunch with Jen. I was so hungry, I already finished my lunch just about. <laughs> so today I had uh, mujadara, which is a lentils and rice dish, and then I had some um, some chicken with it that it had an Israeli spice blend on there and then enjoyed some um, Israeli salad on top of it. And Israeli salad is basically um, parsley, tomato, cucumber, olive oil, and lemon juice, and a little bit of salt. And, and so it's like this really yummy, like salsa, if you will, to put on top of all of it. And it's so good. It's so yummy. So <clears throat> that's what I had for lunch today. I'd love to know in the comments what you're having for lunch today. Let's Let's hear about that. Um, today, we are talking about mindset and tying that to being a little bit more gentle with ourselves. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because recently, um, a friend of mine who, his name's Gary Gigi, he's actually a financial planner um, and contributor to the news on a lot of stuff around like what's happening with the stock market and whatnot. But Gary had posted this really great quote and the quote is from gandhi that says in a gentle way you shake the world and when i read that oh it just was like this flame of fire that hit my heart and i thought oh i love that i mean gandhi i mean he just in his you know he was a great example of being gentle right and so but this quote in a gentle way you can shake the world. And I want you to think about that from a perspective of what would it be like if we're a little bit softer or a little bit more gentle? What would that do for ourselves and for other people, right? So let's talk about these um, these different ways of what we can look at at being gentle and what that what that might look like for us and for the people that are reporting to us. So it's, okay, so first of all, let's just take the second and let's just start to unpack this little statement, right? So in a gentle way. So I am a pretty go-getter type of person. I'm just totally, I've been this way for so long. <laughs> so long love me or hate me whatever i bring a level of intensity my personal brand is i'm an activator what's i'm all about i activate things people purposefully reach out to me to ask me to be involved in a committee or to join a nonprofit or something like that or to help do some organizing around a networking event because i'm an activator they they don't even they don't even understand how or why it is I do, but they just know that if we get Jen Anderson involved, it's like lightning in a bottle. There's going to be magic and there's going to be great stuff that happens. And so I bring enthusiasm. I bring energy. I can't, I kind of can't help it. In fact, when I was in college, I had, um, the way how my, our dorms were set up is that there was a bathroom and on either side of the bathroom, uh, there were different, there were dorm rooms, right? So then there'd be two women in each of the dorm rooms and then together they shared a bathroom. And so, uh, you know, right out of the morning, right out of the bed in the morning, first thing, I'm like, good morning, everybody. What's going on? Let's have a great day. I'm just bouncing off the walls. And I will never forget when Catherine, who was in the other dorm room on the other side of our bathroom, I remember one morning she cracked open the door from her dorm room into the bathroom and she just put her lips, her finger to her lips and she just said, Jen, shh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry. And so then she closed the door to her dorm room and I think she went and got back in bed again. And so I... I know that I bring that enthusiasm and that excitement. And so for me to stop and think about slowing down and or being quieter and a little bit more gentle, that takes a lot for me to downshift. That takes a ton because I'm used to like, okay, let's go. What are we doing? What's happening? And by way of nature of what I do in my business, I mean, we're, we're all about training and coaching and that's what we do. And so I, I even just had a training that I did um, just just an hour ago for a group of technology leaders talking about how do you have effective one-on-one -on -one meetings? I can't like 
it doesn't work for me to be all soft and quiet. That's that's not what people are are getting from their experience with me. And I, I bring that enthusiasm for me to be gentle. Um, it, it's, it, and you might be in that same place, right? I imagine there are those of you who were listening to this that you're just thinking, yeah, like I am that kind of bounce off the walls, bring excitement, enthusiasm kind of person. So where does the gentleness come into this, right? But if we take to heart this comment from Godney, where again, it says in a gentle way, you can shake the world. So, you know, maybe being a little bit softer, a little bit gentler with my wording um, might just shake the world, right? I And I know that. I know how to use my voice to go um, <clears throat> higher, you know, higher pitch, deeper tones, you know, things like that. I, I get that. I also am very aware of the power of a pause, right? And so in that moment, you probably leaned in for a second, like, wait, did she start stop talking? Like you listen just a little bit differently. And so I get that, like, I understand that um, as far as the ability to use my voice in different ways. But if, if I ask myself, and I want you to do this too, like, how could I be more gentle today? I want you to think about that for yourself. Like, what could you do literally to be more gentle? And for me, you know, there's ways of like, there's the gentleness of how I might approach things with somebody. There's the gentleness of, um, you know, like getting to the end of the day and reviewing how I treated the people who were on my team or um, treating my clients. Um, or you might look at it for yourself too and say, okay, how am I doing as far as interacting with the people that are on my team or the projects that we're part of? Is there a, a gentle thing that maybe I can approach it in a little bit different way, right? So that might be a way for you to think about how you can be a little bit more gentle, all right? And so, um, and then I also think about, like I know for me, part of the like the energy enthusiasm I bring is because I do take on a lot. I've got some really interesting things that are happening in the business and in my personal life. And so, um, <clears throat> so I'm in this this season of cutting things out and letting things go that don't serve me anymore, don't serve my clients, that don't serve my husband and my daughter and my my life and my friends. Like just letting go of some stuff. And um, that might be something you might want to look at for yourself too, is like, okay, am I aggressive? Am I hardcore leaning into things because I got too much going on? And that's like that intensity that, that comes from that. And so um, that might be an aspect about, um, about gentleness. <sighs> Let's just take a deep breath for a second. <clears throat> I want you to ask yourself, who do I need to be more gentle with today? Yeah, again, who do I need to be more gentle with today? And just listen to what your heart's telling you. You know, you know who it is. You know that person on your team who's been struggling with something that maybe you just haven't slowed down enough to stop and say, how are you? You seem off. Is there something going on, right? And saying it in a softer tone, a bit more gentle tone can make a big difference versus like, what's up? Why, like, why are you so like off, right? It sounds different. It feels different. The tone is different. The impact to that other person is different. Probably the impact for yourself is different too. So maybe just look at that, right? So who is somebody that you need to be more gentle with? And uh, from a mindset perspective, I'm going to tie it back to that, that maybe perhaps you need to be more gentle with yourself. Maybe there's something going on there for you that you're feeling like, oh, I need, I need to be, I need to be softer for me. I need to, I need to give myself a, a break, right? Cut yourself some slack. You probably have heard that phrase before, right? And so are you pushing too hard? Are you heading like a freight train towards a brick wall and this is going to end badly, right? So maybe being gentle, gentler with yourself is a good place to start. Um, I'm a big fan of starting your day with some meditation, some quiet. Um, for me, I like to pray, pray, read my scriptures, have some journaling time. So some kind of quiet, reflective meditation time, I think is also a way how we can take that edge off 
tap into whatever that inner guidance is that works for you. And in turn, that might help you be a little bit more gentle. I know for me, it does absolutely actually help me to be um, um, more gentle with myself and whatnot. I mean, I'm kind and loving and I, and I appreciate and I cheer on other people, right? But sometimes things can just get a little bit, a little bit edgy, a little bit hard. And I know that if I don't have that meditation quiet time in the morning, that can absolutely affect the rest of the day. So maybe there's an opportunity for you to look at that for yourself too, to say, hmm, what am I doing to help myself with my mindset so I can take on all the big things that I need to do today, right? So that, um, that can certainly make a difference there. And then um, another thing, especially since I just was talking to this group of people about effective one-on-one -on -one meetings, and this is a group of leaders, they all have direct reports, and then they have people that they report up to but I was talking to them in their one-on-one -on -one meetings to allow some opportunity for space, to allow some opportunity for, okay, what is it that would be good to allow us to have that one-on-one -on -one time around their personal life, right? To really talk about them and delve in or talk with them and delve into maybe some challenges that are happening. Now, a lot of us are still, still dealing with issues around COVID and pandemic and the impact in our families. Um, you've got people who are got kids are back to school or empty nesters. And I mean, there's, there's so much that can be happening in their, their personal life um, that creating that space for reflection and delving into, hey, how are you doing? What's going on in your personal life? It's really causing some struggles right now. And bringing some gentleness to that part of the conversation, whew, that can just make a huge difference. So look at that, right? And to stop and say, all right, what can we do? How can, how can we make this better? By you stop and reflecting and asking yourself, who do I need to be more gentle with today? So if you've got a one-on-one -on -one meeting coming up with somebody, and again, this would be like one of your direct reports, for example, or it could be skip a level, somebody who reports to one of your direct reports. So you can certainly stop and just take a deep breath and say, okay, how can I be gentle with this person? What is it maybe that they need? And then listen to what your heart is saying and then, and then allow that to guide you in that approach that perhaps more gentle approach that you may have in that one-on-one -on -one meeting. So as we're wrapping up this conversation today, I want to leave you with this question, which is, where is your heart needing you to be more gentle today? I'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and add in the comments or whatever. Um, but where is your heart needing you to be more gentle today? And perhaps... Coming back to what Gandhi said, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. And maybe in that gentleness, maybe we'll be able to shake the world for doing something better. Okay. And that sounds awesome. And I think that the world and all of us, we could absolutely use some good that way in our lives. Thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of LinkedIn Lunch with Jen. I look forward to hearing from you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. And remember, as you're going through all this, this learning and development, remember that you really can become, you really can become the leader that others want to work for. Thanks, my friends, and I'll see you next time.